So I was having a very quick browse of right click select and there's a user here who wants view selected to do something when nothing is selected. So I made a very quick add on. Alright guys, how's it going? I hope you're doing very well. Now I need to apologise for the background noise. House is crazy at the moment. But there is a user on right click select and they essentially have an issue with numpad period key. And the issue being is when nothing is selected and you hit it, it does nothing. And the user thinks this is a waste of a good key and he kind of does have a valid reason to be honest. Now obviously if you have something selected it will frame the selected object. So I made a very quick add-on that can address the issue here and I'll give you a quick tour. So we'll quickly jump into Blender. Now this works inside of object and edit mode. So for example, we select the default cube, we hit the period key, it will frame the default cube. Now if nothing is selected and we hit the period key, it will frame all. And that hopefully should fix the user's issue. Now obviously this works in edit mode, so if we select a polygon, we hit the period key, it will frame the polygon and it works pretty much everywhere. So like that. And if there's nothing selected, no vertices, points or edges, it will frame all. Now there is one caveat regarding this, or not even a caveat, it's more of an issue with Blender, and it's a key map config issue. So you need to go into preferences, you need to go to key map, go to key binding, press the period key and it'll list everything in the period. You'll see it here in 3D view, frame selected and it's a numpad period key. And all you need to do is uncheck that. If you want to change the key map for the add-on, you can see here numpad, frame selected, and you can make it any key that you really want. And that's pretty much it to be honest. Now yesterday I released a script that lets you kind of do incremental frame jumping, so for example if I hit 10, now this is totally off track, it'll go up 10 frames. But I also made a very quick button that opens the top sheet in a window. Now this is ideal if you're using more than one monitor, but anyway, do me a favour guys, like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, follow me on Twitter, you know what to do, take care.